Hello and welcome to a small tech talk here on my channel. We're going to talk about three different devices I'm going to present today. It's going to be the Wi-Fi Nugget, the Prox Grit Grind Chameleon Mini Rev and the Hunter Cat Unit. Three different devices, three different categories and three different use cases. So let's start out with the Wi-Fi nugget that you can buy pre-made, you can make it yourself, and it's actually an open source project. Now, I just went ahead and went to the site called Retro.io, we can go ahead and buy it, but it's just, you know, pre-assembled. I guess it's more fun to watch, you know, on the gadgets. It's a small, cute device with a small face and everything. It kind of reminds me of the Ponegachi, if you don't know that, but I'm gonna show that to you right now. It's a Ponegachi unit, it's like a device that also have a small face and looks funny and cute. But the Ponegachi is a different thing. The Wi-Fi Nugget is a de-authentication attack thing unit. It also is an SSDP fissure. Uh, well, it support these kind of projects, detecting Wi-Fi de-auth attacks, Beginner stuff and sketches for MicroPython, Arduino, and CircuitPython, and of course for MicroPython again. These are the things that it supports. So they go ahead. They talk about going to the site here called Nugget Dev, and you can go ahead and check out that site if that is what you want to do. The small device is commonly more known as from this picture right here. You're gonna go ahead and perform yourself a de-authentication attack. You know it got a beacon and a probe. Uh, also functionality on it, you can stop it, and that's really it. The functionality resembles the Wi-Fi de-auth watch that you can go ahead and buy, that is also in different kind of versions. Uh, even, you know, stuff like Marauder and, and Flipper Zero and all kind of small devices can do these kind of attacks these days. So this is limited to 2.4 gigahertz. It's a small power unit. It's a testing unit. It's not something that you can, you know, long range get something out of. It is not a direct hacking device. That is a serious device. It is will never be. It's a small unit, very decentralized, you can say. So you need a more centralized unit in order for it to be more dangerous. So um, what can you use it for, right? So yeah, I would definitely say it's, it's a fun, small thing to put in, uh, let's say, a company and see how much you know it can do and if, if it will make any difference. Uh, I have no idea you know how much it will do. It looks cute, it's a fun project. I think most of these projects are more commonly created and, and getting known and popular because of its appearance as a small, cute cat with lights. And this is, this is why the things gain popularity in most occasions. I guess that is the, the case. For me, it's, it's a fun gadget, it's a thing. I, I Would I ever buy it or try it or get it or maybe, well, maybe just to have it in, in my box of stuff, you know, so I can pull it, up, pull it out one day and say, look at all the lights, you know, it's, it's kind of pretty, you know, and I, I, I do collect pretty things and stuff that is fun. So yeah, I understand that. So definitely a, a device that's worth uh, playing around with to learn and educate yourself. Serious hacking device? No, it's not. Let's talk about the Prox Grind Chameleon Mini Rev G. This is a RFID emulation device. It supports multiple types of RFID tags in one device. So this is a, well, the cost of it is just a bit more than a Flipper Zero. Uh, all around the same, you could say. But it is one device to do one thing. And this is what, differentiate you know the flipper zero and other devices like that from this device because this device here is basically made for one thing and you can emulate from it different kind of cards and so on it's a small fun uh thing and i would actually say that depending on what this is you know what what we're going to use it for um it can be quite serious so it does talk about, you know, reading, emulating, MF key 32 crack support, Bluetooth, Android app, UID sniff, fussing, manipulation, read, write, write lock, advanced sniffing and locking, and, and it's an open source project. 
Um, so here you can say like, if you get the uh, ref grind one, uh, prox grind, which is the one you can see here, prox grind, uh, then you're gonna get, you know, all the things that you can do more or less. It, it also talks about different kinds of supports, like the codec of the ISO cards, um, different kind of, different kind of uh, yeah, well, numbers of them and sniffing and so on. So there's like a great variety of different kind of, you know, attack support, compatibility it is, sorry, and sniffing and then reading here. Um, and, and so I would say it's uh, it's a great thing to, to, to play around with if you want to, you know, emulate cars and, and, and play around with that kind of thing, technology. This is the uh, device that you can go ahead and check out. It's definitely a, a thing. So we got to the last one called the Huntercat. And the Huntercat is, is, is just a different thing. It's not, it's not there to hack, it's there to protect. So it's a thing that can detect uh, magnetic uh, stripes skimmers at ATM, you know, um, uh, where you, you know, withdraw your money. And it can identify the presence of multiple magnetic heads. So it's a thing that can help you from being scammed, basically. So it's, it's uh, very interesting, but I, I, I would like to say that, you know, the cost of it is kind of low. It's $35. It's fine. But, you know, walking around with this device all the time, whenever you're going to use your card and the ATM and so on, maybe it's also just a big thing. But I kind of would like to advocate this. Um, it is not there to protect your NFC card data and it cannot detect, you know, highly sophisticated attacks um, such as, you know, more sophisticated shimmers that can <laughs> um, uh, uh, steal your data, uh, uh, card data. So... It's a, it's a good start, you know, and I would say also you should also have a wallet that is uh, protected against, you know, reading cards. So you cannot, you know, walk, just walk up to a guy and say, oh, that's my card, you know, and then you read it and then it's your card and then boom, you can buy stuff, you know. And there are actually pages online where you don't need the, um, the security numbers on the card. So you can buy without those numbers and this is exactly what you can read also on a flip zero i have to create a video about it but yeah so for this video i want to say thanks for tuning in it's a small uh, gadget uh up-to-date video these are the three gadgets today i want to talk about and present and if you feel the interesting you know please go ahead and you know check them out you know it's uh, there for you